Yeah, I am live. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. It's not be too loud. How long are you going to let him be on that? For a little bit longer than Okay. I've been playing restaurant typhoon. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Sorry. Right. I got three American chefs and one of them else. Uh, I have 12 tables, milkshake stand. What's uh, Sissy's name? No, Sissy. Sandra? Chandra? Chandra? Bunch? She's a friend suggestion on my Facebook. It's because she's on Andrew's Facebook. Oh, okay. And I'm sure she's on Jeremy's too. Are they messing up your stomach? I took five, took three of them, and that's quick. Yeah. Do you want the rest? Yes, I will have the rest. Mister, you know who has copies, so. Yeah, I know. so long since I've been on a computer. <laughs> I don't know what to do on it. Well, hello, Stringfield Ridge Farm. How are you doing? We are doing pretty good. Just uh, picking stuff up here to start dinner. We are... <laughs> taking a few days you know kind of staying home I went out today I trekked to Walmart we we're just enjoying the warmth inside oh ouch uh, we ended up getting like what would you say is out there? 11 inches? 10 inches of snow? We had a full 13 inches, but a lot of it melted. Completely. Okay. Yeah, we got like 13 inches of snow in a day and a half. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> we were having fun with that.
<laughs> half an inch and it's already melted. Well, let me show you. Let me show you. A lot of it has melted already. But you can't really see. You might be able to see some. Um, it's about half melted already. So we ended up getting quite a bit of snow. You can see sitting on my deck there too. That might be a better idea of it. My hand, I don't know if you can see that, that's my watch. My hand is all the way past up to my wrist in the snow. So, yeah, like I said, a lot of it melted. Today it was kind of warm, so it's warm and it was snowing and it was all kinds of crazy stuff today. <sighs> oh, that was cold. So tonight, I'm making chicken stir fry. Pretty easy to make. I go to Walmart. We usually get California mix, but because of our our winter storm, they're saying we're gonna get hit again next weekend. Uh, again next weekend? Wow, you on Facebook or something? I can't remember my Facebook information. And I don't remember the Facebook where I put down it. I don't know. Um, I go to Walmart and I buy these bags of stir fry mix. Um, really handy, really convenient. Has all the ma major vegetables that you want in the stir fry: broccoli, excuse me, carrots. It's got little sugar snap peas, little baby corn, uh, and I've got uh, my chicken sitting and marinating. Hasn't been marinating long because I just got home a little bit ago. Um, and some teriyaki sauce. Every, you know, a couple minutes or so, I turn it around. And then what I'm going to do is, after this is cooked, I'm going to cut it up. And uh, I'm going to saute it in my a skillet. I like uh, my chicken cooked pretty good. Um, and what I do in sometimes, the way I just got this chicken. I'll be back in a minute. It kicked me out. Yeah, because you keep going in and out, in and out. No, no, it was me. It was me. Don't you don't have to refresh. Um, but yeah, uh, well, when you're on a low carb diet, vegetables aren't the best thing for you because they got a lot of um, carbs in them, a lot of natural uh, sugars and stuff, starches. Um, what to do is if I need to marinate something and I need it done right then, is I take my marinade. A marinade and a meat is the more it's going to take in that marinade. So I take it, I put it in the thing, still out, and okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. That should be fine now. Andrew was messing around with his Xbox and reconnecting, and I mean, getting on a game and getting out of a game and getting on a game, and getting out of a game, and it messes stuff up sometimes. So, but anyway, so I, I cook this on low to medium wherever and uh, cook it slow because it's chicken and it gets all those uh, teriyaki flavors all mixed in with it
Oh, hey, Freaky Geek, how are you doing? I am just uh, making dinner. How are you doing? I wonder how dizzy the chickens are going to get at once. What are you talking about? Oh, this, okay, okay, never mind. Woo! Go over my head for a second. <laughs> um, how are you doing? How's your weather, Freaky? Doing okay out there? Or up there in Canada? <laughs> oh, fire cider, huh? Yes, Canadia. I think that's where Freaky's at, Canadia. You using this? No, we'll get, I'll be right back, guys. I gotta go back here. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, negative twenty five. Wow. I couldn't do negative 25. Um, we ended up getting like a foot of snow in a day and a half. So things have been crazy around our area. Lots of stores ended up shutting down. We even had a Walmarts around our area shut down. And that never happens. Walmarts are all about making money and we'll stay open as much as possible. So, I'm let this chicken simmer and cook it for a bit. I want to add in uh, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to cook the vegetables while I cut up the chicken. For right now, I'm gonna Hey Alabama, long time no see. How are you doing? How have you been? You're coldish. <laughs> well it is winter time. So if you're not cold in the winter time, then it's not winter time. Apparently. It's just chilly there. I got some uh, deer chili in the fridge. Is that the same kind of chili? You're in the oh, okay.
at your base camp, huh? Yeah, I consider this place my base camp too. It's where I uh, spend most of my time, so. Huh? <laughs> Okay. Well, that's always fun to to be out there in the woods. His wife kicked him out, so he had no place else to go, so he's living in the woods. That's what it is. <laughs> Having to live on land. <laughs> right. Now I was just taking a guess on that bushcrafter. Where's the sugar? In the sugar container. At the sugar mill. <laughs> is that really what happened Alabama because if so I'm sorry I didn't mean anything by that I was just playing around oh wow yeah put two I'm sorry that happened. Huh? I uh, I feel for you though. At least do you have uh, the comfortable amenities out there. Alabama was joking, or I was saying that. Oh, um, was saying that. Uh, He's out in the woods with his rifle and his dog, just hanging out at his base camp, and uh, was messing around and said, you know, his wife kicked him out, that's the only place he had to go, and that's really what happened. <laughs> you to piss her off. At least you didn't get in the snow we got, Alabama. You'd be uh, be pretty cold. It's not too warm out here, uh, outside here. Yeah, at least she misses you, and you have the option of going home. Take some time, you know. Do what you need to do.
<laughs> That's true, they don't. That's a... Uh... Yeah, uh, they say if you uh, give a man a fish, you fish, uh, you feed him for a day. You uh, teach a man to fish, feed him for a lifetime. You teach her how to fix whatever she needs fixed. You'll teach her for a lifetime. She won't ever ask again. Well, she'll ask, but you just tell her to do it yourself. <laughs> Ashley's looking at me. She's giving me the, uh, the evil eye. He's about to come join you, Alabama. <laughs> okay, so now I've got my chicken. It's kind of simmered on the stove for a few. Um, just going to take it out piece by piece. Cut it up. Toss it back in and let it... Uh, Simmer quite a bit more until it's all finished. Then I'll get my vegetables going. You don't tell them or you don't teach them anything. You ask and they hope they you hope they do it. <laughs> He's married to a black woman. And uh he's saying you don't you don't tell a black woman to do anything. You you uh you ask and hope uh says you ask and hope they do it. You what? That takes balls to marry a black woman. <laughs> Ashley just said that it takes balls to marry a black woman. So you got some gumption there. At least the ones that I've met, I would not want to marry. I'd probably kill them within the first month. <laughs> Thirty years, wow. Hey, you still got hair? What color is your hair? <laughs> Do you have any? I can't remember. I've seen you before, but I can't remember. It's been so long. <laughs> it's gray. Yeah. Okay. Surprised you have any. Start pulling out yet, does it? I'm sure it is. I don't know, there's some white girls that are just as worse, but your sister? Yeah.
to Don, I guess, dating her is like dating your black girl because she looks just as much as a handful. Sure. Who she reminds you of? Hmm. He's asking if he's saying his wife reminds her of so, uh, someone. Florence off a good time. Well, oh wow, that is a handful. <laughs> Remember that show? Good times. She's a kind of a bigger, burly black lady. Not like real big, but she's uh, got a uh, little bit of a temper. Got a little bit of a spunk. And spunk in her, yeah. Makes you want to wring her neck every time she talks. By the way, she looks basically is what he's saying and stuff. A lot of mouth. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You call those mouthpieces? Real quick with the mouth. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mouthpiece. Ashley says it's called a mouthpiece. Can't ever stop. What she says goes. She cook okay though? She cook, uh, like, traditional type food, or is she more of the, uh, non-traditional, like, chitlins and crap like that type cook? More diverse foods. The, uh, yes, I'm slicing, sorry. Uh, I told you I was going to cut it up, uh, put it back in, let it uh, cook a little bit longer. That way all the uh, uh, sauce gets through all the pieces. A lot of people don't, when they marinate something, they don't cut it up to the size that they're going to eat it with. And you should. Because you want that marinade. Okay, if you have a whole piece of chicken, okay, a big piece of chicken, and you're not gonna, and you're gonna be eating it in smaller bites. That marinade's not gonna hit, you know, on the inside or you know the slice side. So you want to slice it up and let it marinate. You know, if I had the time, I would have marinated this for like six hours, but I don't. So this is a quick way to get a marinade deep into some chicken or beef or whatever you're marinating. Yeah, because I don't want to eat tonight's dinner tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I have the chicken cut up into small bite-sized pieces. I'm going to put it on and I'm going to high simmer this. Yeah, if you guys aren't subbed to each other, go ahead and do that. 
that way um, everybody can get you know new subs and uh, you guys can learn about everybody else. Everybody on my channel has got great content, so. So uh, what I'm gonna do now Once this chicken gets pretty well done, um, I'm going to take it out and put it in a different skillet because my pot, I, I've still got some grease in it. I haven't cleaned it out, so I want to be lazy and not want to clean it right now. So I'm using a skillet. I'm using two skillets. One skillet's going to be uh, is what I'm doing now. The other smaller skillet, I'm going to be uh, actually kind of frying the chicken a little bit so it gets um, you know a nice brown color to it and in my other skillet where I still have the marinade um, I'm going to take my vegetable mix and I'm going to put in there and once that gets done the chicken's going to be done and mix it all together and be really good Oh, Alabama, thank you for asking. Uh, she is doing wonderful. How many pounds since surgery? Uh, 100. That's what you told me. Come on. It... 88. 88 pounds since surgery. Surgery was in August. So she's doing really good with her weight loss. Um, 139 since November of last year of 2017. How much? 139? Mm -hmm. 139 since November of last year when she was at her highest. No, not last year, 2017. Sorry, 2017. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, she's doing really, really good. Uh, she's still having a big problem with trying to take protein um and i've been trying to do it in more conventional ways and protein shakes and stuff because she can't stomach them she can't handle the taste uh um so I'm, i've been trying to do it in more conventional ways with cheese and eggs and meat and uh stuff like that and she's been doing okay, but there's some days where she can't do any at all. Oh, uh, cheese has uh, no carbs. Hold on. What's that? No school tomorrow? Hold on, guys. Okay, so uh, my chicken is done. Um, I'm putting it in a smaller pan where I'm going to brown it. I'm going to wait till that pan kind of gets hot. Yay. What? No school. No school tomorrow. And they have hardly ever canceled school here. So... Because of the amount of snow that we got, and the roads are going to be icing over tonight, and a lot of the side roads are still not ready for the buses. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, no school tomorrow for our son. And he had a half day Friday. Yeah, and he had a half day Friday because the weather was coming in. But, um... What has protein? Eggs have protein. 
Cheese. Cheese has a little bit. Cheese is better because it doesn't have carbs. Um, it doesn't Cheese have any sugars quite a in bit. it. It has seven grams per... Well, it has seven grams uh, or so per serving. So that's good. But... Um, the, the main thing that has protein is meat. Meat is the best way to intake protein. And... Uh, Okay. Um, the the way you want to do a diet, if you're going to be on a diet, um, is basically kind of look up what's called the keto diet. And you don't have to go that extreme, but you want to cut out sugars, you want to cut out starches, you want to be high in protein, and you want to exercise with that protein. Um, and there's sugar in a lot more things than you think. Uh, fruits, if you're trying to lose weight, it's not good to eat all those strawberries and blueberries and uh, all that other stuff. Yeah, beans, peanut butter, nuts. Um, there's a lot of stuff that has protein, but you want to look at the uh, carbs versus uh, protein intake. Okay, so my chicken um, is done. It's in another uh, saute pan. I'm going to uh, fry that up while I, yeah, tofu, I can't do it. I mean, there's ways to make tofu actually pretty good uh, with different spices and stuff. And if you uh, have it like curried and um, things, but not many people can cook tofu the right way. I've had it cooked okay once where I could eat it. And I won't even delve into tofu because of its strangeness. Yes, um, that is exactly what you want to do. Um, the the dirty keto, uh, yeah. <laughs> you would think that, Freaky. I think that was freaky. No, F Freaky said dirty sounds kinky. Oh. You're dirty. But, um... But yeah, that's the kind of diet you want to do. You want to um, do that low, very low carb diet. Uh, uh, you want to do um, very few vegetables, very few fruits mainly, uh, because fruits are very, very high in natural sugars. And when your body converts those sugars, they don't convert them and use them, they store them. So uh, you want to eat, if you're going to eat carbs, you want to eat them right before a workout. That will give you the energy that you need and you'll burn it right off because your body processes carbs really fast. No, um, eating or drinking water with fruits uh, will actually uh, have the opposite effect. Uh, it will dilute um, and help the body to process those sugars faster through your system. So you, you want to continue to drink water, you just don't want to take the sugars in. You don't want to eat the fruits. 
you don't want to take the starches in. Starches are uh, things like vegetables and, I'm sorry, like pro, uh, potatoes, um, bread, uh, breads, anything Pastas. with like flowers and stuff in it. That's those are high in starches. Uh, if you get nice. carbohydrate free, uh, like the almond flour, um, there's lots of flours out there that don't have the carbs that the regular milled flour does. Yeah, and you don't want those carbs. You don't want the complex carbs. You don't want the simple carbs. Carbs are bad, period. And they're, uh, the, the protein, the molecule chains of the carbs, whether they're uh, single chain, multi chain, uh, it doesn't matter. They're going to go into your system and they're, they're going to wreak havoc. They're not going to let you lose weight. Um, you need a, a small amount of them in your system and, uh, because uh, because the sugars are actually help nourish your cells, but you don't need that many. Uh, when you sit down and you eat potato chips, you know, if you sit down and eat a whole bag of potato chips in one sitting, some of the, you know, like three or four, maybe a handful of chips out of that bag is going to actually nourish your body with the carbs that it needs. The rest is going to get stored in your system. Carbs are good if you want to, if you're going to be using the energy right away. So if you're going to, if you're on your exercise routine and you go out jogging every morning, for 30 minutes, what you want to do is uh, 30 minutes before your dog, eat a bowl of rice um, if you like rice. And what that'll do is that will power your body and muscles with those sugars that it needs for that workout, and you'll be ready to go. It'll work off all those sugars. But if you're not going to go on a workout and you're not going to do anything but sit there, those sugars are just going to store in your body. Okay. You guys see how this chicken is cooking? That's cooking up really good. Uh, like I said, what I do is I kind of like parboil the, the chicken at first you know, to make sure it gets all done and it takes in all of that marinade. And... Then I take and I saute it in just the juices that were on the chicken. And it gets a nice uh, little color to it. And, and tastes really good. While this, uh, these vegetables are over here cooking, getting nice and yummy. <laughs> yeah, and that's the, the main reason of that is because of the carb uh, carbohydrates that are in it, uh, the sugars that are in, um, and that is true. Uh, breads and potatoes and uh, rice, um, it's all very high in carbs and it's white in color, so there is a correlation.
Okay, uh, chicken is done. Just waiting on the vegetables to uh, get nice and good. I'm going to take one of these packets that was in with the uh, vegetables. It's just basically teriyaki sauce. Very thick sauce. So I'm going to turn this all the way up to boil. So I have to boil some of the liquid out of it because it's gotten rather, uh, because the vegetables are frozen, it releases water. So, let that boil off some of that, it'll cook the rest of them and it'll be done. <laughs> nice change of subject, huh, there in Alabama? What, food to something else? Yeah. Yeah, thankfully he's outside, right? No, no, I'm sitting here talking about not having sugars and not having sugars and carbs and all that other stuff. I'm drinking Coke. Go figure. Huh? Yeah, but it's YouTube. This chicken cooked up really good. See that nice brown on it? Looks perfect. Yeah, he's uh, he's walking, he's talking, he's uh, potty trained. Um, he's got the hopeful mouth of a sable of a sailor, because he knows he wants to all the time, but he knows he's at home, so he can't. <laughs> Onion ring, huh? No, this was. Really, really good teriyaki chicken. I don't know, where'd you put it? You took it last. No, I didn't. I did not take your phone yesterday. Yeah, you are. And you got glasses on too, boy. Well, without a phone, he can't call his own phone. How can he? <laughs> no, he found it. It was right under his face. And... Okay, so... 
<laughs> your phony phone. Okay, okay. So, because we don't do rice in this house very often at all, um, what I like to do, because our son is a nut about these things, Um, these, I know what you, I know you know what these are, ramen noodles, um, are really good as a base for a dinner like this. So I take three or four packs, I cook them up, and they act as a really good base excuse me, base for the vegetables and, and meat. Okay, Alabama, you have fun. Um, be safe. I know you got your rifle and your dog will alert you, but if your dog's used to your wife, if she comes up, he's not going to alert you very much. Vegetables are done. Yeah, but the thing about these, they will literally last forever. Yeah, Alabama's a great guy. I've talked with him on YouTube for probably past a year and a half now. Two years. I don't know. Freaky Geek, talked to him for the past two, three months. Well, his name says it all. Doesn't it? I just cook those in the microwave. Those are easy to cook. Yeah, it could be either. I don't know. Time flies when you're having fun, I guess, you know. So what part of Canada are you in? <laughs> I know you've told me before, but I can't necessarily remember for you. The cold part.
Ontario, Canada Central, I think, not sure. You don't know much about your own country, do you? Were you born there? You lived there all your life? If so, I am extremely sorry. <laughs> no, just joking with you. Us Americans uh, always like to make fun of the Canucks. Oh, okay. Oh, he does? How's that? His grandma was born and raised in Canada. Oh, Mike's mom? Really? Oh, okay. So apparently, uh, my son's birth father's grandmother. No, mother. Oh, mother, sorry. His, my son's grandmother on his biological father's side uh, is from Canada. So, my son's part Canuck. Oh, poor kid. <laughs> Mike's isn't really red. Yeah, well, now it's getting more gray because he's 40 years old. But it used to be like a burnt brownish red. Yeah. And his hair is brown. I'm, I, and I asked him, I said, why is this red and this is brown? So he's Canadian. Yeah. Yeah, they like the red. <laughs> <laughs> and then Andrew came out with a tint of red hair mm. when he was born. I said, oh, God, I'm shaving his head. It's going to be red. And thankfully it changed. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything fun up there to do? See, I like to talk to people from different countries. Eh, that's not as big as I like. This is my uh, other, one of my other cups. I'm sure. That's another one. How much coffee you fit in there? It's a soup bowl. That's not a mug. I see no face. It's a soup bowl. <laughs> no, that's a coffee mug. Coffee cup, mug, glass. Why do they call it a mug? Why do they call it a cup? And they would call a regular drinking glasses glasses. Makes you wonder, huh? What do they call coffee mug? Coffee mug. In Canada? No, here, oh. anywhere. Oh, no, Canadians speak English. They just speak a weird, messed up English. A boot. A boot. I love that. I that How do you say about, freaky? A boot. A boot? <laughs> I got a boot for you. About a size 10 and a half. He doesn't say about. No, he says a boot. Yeah, he says a boot. How do you say a boot? A boot. About.
hardly find even reasons to even spell it. Yeah, true. I always like to talk to people from different countries, even just our neighbor to the north. Because you guys have different ways of saying things and doing things sometimes. Like the aboot thing. Oh, okay, okay. Um, do you think you have that... Are you, are you more French-Canadian? Are you more Canadian... Canadian-Canadian? What do, you, what do you call that? British-Canadian... that sitting cook for just a little bit longer part French but I don't speak French okay very interesting You ever done any ice fishing? I know that's a big Canadian pastime. Oh, that's cool. Uh, type of Canadian Indian. Like it's what it's in a bowl. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through all your videos and watch. Any ones that you like if you were to Tell somebody to watch a video that you've made that would give them the best idea of who you are. Uh, what video would that be that you have? Oh, okay, yeah. Like hockey. I know hockey is a big Canadian thing. Now, do you speak uh, more British English? A bit, a bit of tar around and knives. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, do you speak more uh, British English or more American English? Because I know Canada, uh, Canada is um, very mixed with languages and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, America is too, but is very, very, I mean, Literally, depending on which territory you live in. <laughs> You're very welcome. Cheers to you. Aunt.
Ant. I pronounce an ant. Okay, yeah. Well, here's a big one. Do you call a television, like if you're sitting down and watching TV? Aunt, aunt. That's the way it's pronounced, is aunt. But I'm an ant. You're an aunt. But it's pronounced here as ant. We don't say the aunt part. It all depends on just where you're from. So we also say auntie, tante, tt. Yeah. <laughs> You say ain't too. Well, it's technically supposed to be pronounced aunt, like auntie. Um, but ant, the U is silent. Yeah, that's what a lot of people do. What do they call ant? The bug ant. An ant? That would be really confusing. Hi, this is my ant, and see, this is another ant. No. Well, what I was asking is, like, if you're sitting down and watching television, do you want, do you call it the TV? Do you call it the telly? Uh, Square box. <laughs> watch the boob tube? Do you watch the box? Uh, Sorry, yeah. I'd be so confused going to another country. I'd be like, I'm done. I'm going back home. Okay, so if I went to a restaurant where you're at, and I said, "Give me some napkins," I want a whole bunch of napkins. Would I have to, would I have to tell them serviettes, serviettes, whatever, however you pronounce that, or would I be able to call it napkins? I mean, I have not called a boot tube in years. How's gas prices up there? The idiot box. The only gas I buy is called big beans. Okay, petrol. Petrol. How is the petrol prices up there? See, that's a difference. We call it gas. You want it on plates or in a bowls? Bowl. Bowl. Okay. We both said bowl. I'm gonna have mine on a plate. Oh, have you ordered the community? Yeah. No. It says gas, pressure, and diesel all smell bad to me. Hard to breathe, but I'd rather walk than drive. Oh, I had a walk today. Our, uh, we've had a damn of a time with our van. Uh, broke down in July and it's been down since. Got a new battery for it. Um, I replaced the head gasket and all kinds of stuff. And now the starter is wanting to be stupid. So, uh, I've been walking everywhere I go. And with in some places 12 inches of snow on the ground still I had to walk two and a half miles to Walmart to get uh, to get some stuff
it actually is better for you. Um, it doesn't necessarily burn as many calories, so you got to walk like twice as far. The Lou calls you. Okay, yeah. Um, so I had a Yeah, in your parts. How you doing, oh man? Long time no see. Enjoy. We ended up getting like 12 inches, my man. This just up here in St. Louis area. So yeah, you got real lucky. Be glad you don't live here. Okay. No man does live here. Well, where we're at. So, take a little bit of noodles. Veggies. Some really good stuff. No, not all places do cook food the same, and that's what makes each place unique. But there are basics to the way each thing should be cooked. Son's bowl because he likes to eat. Okay, off your phone. Be 
So guys, I'm glad we could uh, sit and chat for a bit. I really enjoy this time. If you guys have any questions for me or just want to uh, send me an email or would want to see something made that you've never made before and are curious about it, send me an email. The link is in my description. Or my email is in the description. Um, if you guys want to or have the ability to or you would just want to help my channel grow and you know help us out a little bit every penny counts if you feel like you want to donate anything to my channel my PayPal is in the description as well um, I really enjoy live streaming with you guys I'll do anything I can to help you guys if you have questions about food or cooking or really anything that I may know in general. So, like I said, send me an email. I may be able to help you out. I'm going to get off here because I like to cook but not eat in front of people. And I'm about to sit down and enjoy this really, really good looking dinner. Smelling amazing. So I'm going to get going. But don't trust your nose. Trust your taste buds. I love all you guys. My son's being a, a butthead. But, uh... No, I will, uh... Talk to you again in the next few days, guys. I really appreciate you. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you could. And until next time, enjoy some really good food, guys.